شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليسم ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فإدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم الأسر ولتكمل العدة ولتكملوا العدة ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين بنا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وبعد لو أما سكر ما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أولا ما صلى شينا Anggung Musa, Don Siri, Abdul Cari, Abuja, Najera, Lebih juga macam tafsir na Ocha Ramadhan. Kau mak main besar bagam Dora Day Day, ini bukan Ajiya. Hari yang zaman Ajiya itu tuh sangat, dah muda juga akan ayat Hamsan Day Day. Inda Allah Taala mengimbau kita kecewa, wak bala bago. فأقبل بعضهم على بعض يتساءلون. نمر قانا أجيا. دير النعم من الله تعالى ينص. شوا أمس كان دي نجيا. جيا ميزاكي. بدي مكيان غني. باي دبغروا. Baik cuitar wa, baik wagi, sana Allah bersih rumah ada akan teman aljana, siapa wa, masa mai ini dan dulu hari ini, kuma semua mata hak kembali kerana masuk waktu mazan sih, kotam kotam hak. Kesalat Allah bawa labar siwa ayu, yang aljana semua anak tadi anak hira, lakukan yang aljana dan aljana. Ala ta'ala ci wa akbala ba'duhum ala ba'dhi yata sa'alu Shashin yang al-janna Suka tu Atul ayni suka paskan shashin Ana tattaw nawa Ana tuna dunia Ana bagana kirin zamada akai Na al-khayri Dukum ilu wa halalu da aka shashin wa adu ana tattaw nawa La sanyi dan Yung aku wa nan tattaw nawa nawa hala Zat atau air yang seluruh kencing corona. Namun dah nizu kasihau hala dunia kebanya. Air yang abin deh baru nak ukur le masalah tayar, ukur le wajang ibadah. Abang cia kahit matka si dia ada yang abin muda ni anak abang musuh bikin wain nanti tonau yang aljan zat sembuh tenang. Allah cawarak kau dah lace, syashin sunat tambah syashin. Nah. Surah Al-Safat, verse 50. Allah the Most High told us about paradise and what he prepares for the dwellers of paradise, uh, such as the clean and pure wine and the wives that Allah the Most High prepares for the image of paradise. Then in this verse, Allah Ta'ala is telling us that the people of paradise will be discussing between themselves remembering what had happened in the world what they undergo of hardship and other things then Allah says for Akbala ba'duhum ala ba'din yatasa'alu they will approach one another meaning the people of paradise yatasa'alu they will be asking one another concerning different issues of the of this world قَالَ <laughs> 
wanda mun zauna tare da shi kuma an yi muhamala tare an yi zama irin ta mutaka ta abokantaka tare da shi amma shi wannan ba musulmi bane an zauna tare da dai zama irin wanda ake haduwa tare ko kasa ta hada ko gari ya hada ko abuwa ko kuma wato wani abu ya hada na kasuwanci ko aikin gona amma dai abokin sa ne shi ko bai imani ba na qala qailun minhum one of the people of paradise will ask or will say while in the process of that discussion inni kana li qarin i had a companion i had an intimate friend during our worldly life however this friend was not a muslim he disbelieved in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that man of paradise will remember that his known is his disbelieving friend يقول انك لمن المصدقين to kasan shi ke ba wa yan masayin aljanna labari ya ba da wanci ake magana ba to ina so ba su labarin a wannan abokin nasa irin aqidar sa kasan idan kuna tare da mutum zaka san wasu dabiyun sa zaka san wasu al'adun sa zaka san wasu wato ainihin abin da yake so da abin da yake to tun da ya kawo zancen tsakanin yan uwa wanda suke cikin aljanna to yanzu yana kara ba su haske akan wanda shi ya sani su ba sun shi ba ya kulo yana cewa a inna ka lamin al-musaddiqi shi abokin yana biya mushi a duniya kenan shin kai kana cikin wanda suke gaskata magana nan da ake bari cewa alahira za a yi hukunci za a yi aljanna za a kai yan wuta za a yi kaza kaza ina fata an gane yanzu shi yana ba su labarin abin da shi wannan abokin ke gaya mushi abokin nan a duniya ya taba tuhuma ta yana cewa da ni kai ka yadda kana da wayo kaza ka yadda cewa wai bayan an mutu za a tashi ina fata an kance wannan bayani na this man of paradise will be telling others that i had a friend who was a disbeliever he used to tell me a innaka lamin almusaddiqin wa yu among those who are trust who who truly believe that there will be or there will come a day of qiyamah meaning the friend disbelieve and he dispute the coming of the day of qiyamah so this uh, personality from paradise will be telling others that i had a friend who disbelieved in the day of qiyamah he was even mocking me that uh, I was I among those who believe that day of qiyamah was uh, is uh, exactly or is truly coming that was the question he used to ask that his friend aiza mitna wa kunna turaban wa idhaman inna lamadinun wa da dan bayyana da Allah ba bayyana da ranar karshe ba bayyana kuma za a yi hukunci ba to bayan yana tuhumin abokin sa da cewa kai kana kai ka yadda da wannan to sai gashi nan kuma yana karawa shi har yanzu shi ke bayani shi wanda wanda ba da imani yana cewa ai za mitna wa kunna turawan wa idhaman a inna la madinu kai yanzu ka yadda cewa idan mun mutu bayan mutuwa mun zama to baya mun zama kasa wanda yake a kwari sun cinye mu mu da kasa ba wance wa izama mun kuma kasusuwa ba ma namal jikin saura kashi kan jamau din kashi a inna la madinu kai har yanzu kana da wato ainihin aqidan cewa ana iya ta da mu har ma a ce za a yi sakayya har za a biya waɗansu a ce wane ga sakamakon sa da wani abu kana jin za a yi hisabi a inna la madinu daga yawmuddin ranar sakamakon kana jin akwai sakamakon 
watu wana tambaya da yake yi fa ba yana tambaya ne dan a bashi an samu yana tambaya ne nayi kure nayi walakanta nayi wautar da wanda yake da wannan tunani na cewa za a tashi ko kuma wannan abokin nasa kadai ba har yanzu ana samu mutane wanda ga sunan kamar mutane amma suna da ja basu yadda ba cewa za a mutu za a zama wato ainin a kasa da kashi sa'an nan a ce wai za a yi wani hisabi ta ya za a yi a tada mutum har a ce za a tsaya har a ce wai su abin da ke ba su mamaki ma wai tukunna ma za a yi ma hisabi wannan su za a yi musaka bako kamar yadda shi ma fa la'ana da madinun akwai hukunci da za a yi nan hisabi babu shi don sai ka je kasashen kafurai wai da babu Allah a tare da su wannan maganar ma dariya za a yi maka ga kasashe nan da yawa yanzu ba ma musulunci kawai kowa ya kama gaban sa yana ta rayu sai ka sai mu gode mu Allah ta bada ka wata ala da yayi mu a waje wadda muna da tunani na mu na kan mu na sanin mu bayi ne wadda ya halice mu yana iya tada mu a kowane lokaci ga damu how his friend used to treat him in mockery and ridiculing his iman in addition to asking him that are you true true believer in the ability of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring the day of qiyamah then he continued asking him that a idha mitna wa kunna turaban is it going to be possible after our death wa kunna turaban and we decomposed into soil wa idhaman and bones a inna lamadinun is it going to be possible for us to be held accountable of what we did in this world certainly it was not going to be possible so continue your belief but as far as I'm concerned me I did not believe so that man of paradise will be telling his uh, his companions of paradise this was how we related with that my friend he disbelieved in the day of tiyama he was even challenging me why should I believe and also telling me that is it going to be possible for Allah after all we died and become soil and dust and earth was and the bones was it going to be possible for us to be held responsible and accountable or uncountable of what we did qala hal antum muttali'un kai ga amma ta ce ai aljanna su ma za su danga tunawa ana tattaunawa har ma a tattauna lokacin corona ta ga wannan irin za ta yi tsawo saboda ta ji ga duniya gaba daya amma wasu abubuwa ko wasu kasashe ba ko anan shi da yake ba su labarin wannan abokin nasa sai yace kana hal antum muttaliun kaman ka ce ne yana cewa da su shin kuna so ga wannan abokin nawa ka san su aljanna ne ana ta tun daga ayyin akidan sa ya ba su labari sun ji sai ya tambaye su kuna san ganin shi dan ku san wane ne ma ku san ko inda yake wannan tambaya ne masu hal antum mutaliun shin ba za ku kwaso ba a ce ku a nuna muku shi na then he will continue to tell his companions of paradise after narrating all this crime committed against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by that his friend who disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then he will tell them qala hal antum mutaliun that would you care to look it is just like a video they will be shown the position and the abode of that his friend who had disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will ask his friends in paradise if you care to look then you see now his abode we are in paradise while he is in another uh, in another world in a different abode فطلع فراه في سواء الجحيم فطلع سي يليقا فراه سي غنشي في سواء الجحيم ينا تكي جهنم ينا تكين عذاب كنا دام اي يسن شي كنن علايرا بايان متن يا رجا يا شي جدان سا نا الجنة ينا اي غنن وند يسن يا غني شي دومين شي الوكاتين ينا تكين نسوا yana cikin jin dadi yana cikin ni'ima 
dai ya gane wannan abokin sa ne dai ya gane wannan iyalin sa ne dai ya gane wannan dan sa ne wannan makokin sa ne wannan sun taba yin fada wannan sun taba yin shiri dai zai ya gane yana cikin nema sai ya gano shi sai ganshi a cikin jahannama a jahannaman ma a tsakiya yana cikin bala'i to wayannan kisoshi da ake ba mu kaman sun faru ne yadda aka ba da labarin sa haka su shi sa sai mutun ya hararo ga wannan yana cikin bala'i yana cikin azaba ga wannan yana cikin nima to wace rayuwa ka zaba mu kanka kai domin wancan ga irin rayuwar da yayi aka fada bai da za a yi hisabi ba bai da za a hukunci ba bai da Allah zai ta damu ba to ga matsayin sa na then he just he will look then he will see that his friend fi sawail jahim in the midst of the hell fire they live together in this world but each one was practicing his own faith this one was a muslim and the other one was a disbeliever he was lucky that he was not affected by his disbelief meaning he did not follow him in that disbelief they would have been in the same abode rather he remained committed on his iman he also co- remained committed in his disbelief now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already decided this one who believed in is in paradise and he is even discussing with his colleagues in paradise about his friend in this in the world who disbelieved in allah then allah the most high will show that his friend to them in the midst of the hell fire wal iyad billah قال تالله ان كت لا تردين ينا غني ير عذاب ده كي كوسا يكي شي سي يكي قال تالله يكي نا رنتي ده الله ان كت لا تردين ثورا كدان ثورا كدان قال كاني تايا دا يا بيشي دا يا بيرن عقيدن سا دا يا بيرن تنانن سا دا سنا تاري shi sa hadin san da ya rantse yace na rantse da Allah da ba dan kaddara ba na Allah ta'ala to da na bi ka dai to da yanzu ba mu makawa domin abin da kai na yake tikadi na imanin ka na kafurcin ka shi ya kawo ka mu munan itikadin sa mu munan wato aqidar sa tarshin yadda da Allah da kuma za a yi sabi shi ya tsoma shi kai shi wato wajen jahannama yace na rantse da Allah kadan ya saura da yan suna tare Allah ya tare ku sai tallahi i swear by Allah azza wa jal in kitta la turdin you had almost got me ruined you had almost misled me and had it been that had happened would have been at the same about that is the hell fire so he's lamenting that that his friend uh, would have got him ruined by disbelieving in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then they will be together in the hell fire therefore one has to be careful with the type of friend he keeps who do you emulate whom do you move together whom do you uh, whom do you uh, stay together and discuss walaw la ni'matu rabbi lakum tu min al-muhdarin yana cikin aljanna wannan abokin nan sai yana cikin tsakiyar wutan jahannama sai yana cewa walaula ni'matu rabbi da ba dan ni'man ubangiji na ba domin Allah ya musu mai ni'ima mafi girman ni'ima kasancewar mu musulmai alhamdulillah alladhi hadana li hadha wa ma kunna linahtadiya lawla an hadana Allah muna gode ma Allah ya shirye da mu zuwa wannan tabarki na musulunci da ba dan Allah ya so ba da yanzu muna kan wata milla daban shi sa musulmi ya ƙara gode ba Allah mafi girman ni'ima da Allah ya wa musulmi wato musulunci kafin ka bo kan dukiya ka bo kan lafiya ka bo kan yaya ka bo kan gida ka bo kan duk abin da Allah ya ma ni'ima mafi girma musulunci shi sa shi a cikin aljanna yake cewa walaula ni'matu rabbi da ba dan ni'iman ubangiji na ba lakum tu min al-mudarin da na kasance kin wanda aka halarto da su a cikin wannan wuta da yanzu shi ma yana nan alatilis ya halarci wannan wuta yana cikin wa'adda suke shan azaba 
ko yazin billah saboda haka mu kara gode mu Allah da ni'imomin da yi mana mafi girman wadannan ni'imomin ni'iman wato ainihin musulunci ni'imat tauhidi ni'iman yin ibada ni'iman kasance umun san Allah mu bayin sa na thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guiding him and making him firm in belief uh, in iman up to the time he died he said walaula ni'matu rabbi if it were not for the favor of my lord allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lakuntu min al muhdharin i would have been among those to be brought under the punishment of allah just as this my friend was brought under the punishment of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala therefore the greatest ni'ma allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can bestow on an individual is to give him the ni'ma of iman that's why the people of paradise will be thanking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in appreciation waqalul alhamdulillah alladhi hadana lihadha they will be saying all praises belong to allah alladhi hadana lihadha who had guided us unto this our abode in paradise wa ma kunna linahtadiya on our own we wouldn't have been rightly guided lawla an hadana allah if not for the favor of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who bestows guidance upon us so a muslim should always thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be committed in serving allah the most high without retreating or renouncing his belief uh, as that friend renounced his belief and he ended up in the punishment of allah afama nahnu bimayyitin afama nahnu bimayyitin to a cikin aljanna daman babu mutuwa saboda ni'imar ta kai inda ta kai yan aljanna su karan kansa sun ga cewa to an yaguwa da gaske ba za mu mutu ba har abada dan irin wannan wajen ba wajen fita bane yawa ai ka mulki ne idan mutum ya shige shi mulkin ma ta shige mutum to bai san sauka da mulki dukkan dabaran da zai tsare mulkin sai ya tsare mulki kasashe da yawa idan ka sako za ka irin yadda shugabannin suke ta da babbaro da cewa dai mulkin nan dai ta miki saboda abin da ke cike nan ne ma to shi dan aljanar shi ma kamar yadda Allah ta'ala ya fadi a nan wajen yana cewa shin ku da gaske ne ba za mu mutu ba saboda in dai ba za mu mutu ba to wannan rayuwa ita ce rayuwa kuma ita ce nasara mafi girman nasara din alkawarin Allah ne duk wanda ya shiga aljanna ba zai fita ba har abada yana cikin ta amma saboda ni'imomin sun kai inda suka kai na jin dadin na daban na ba daban da ba suna cewa to shin kuwa za mu dawo ma cikin aljannan nan ba mutuwa ni'imomin nan kuma za su shiga ba kai in ku haka ne ba to lalle babban lamari now found themselves in the greatest name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for having been among the inmates of paradise however it is natural of human being whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favors him in any way maybe he is rich or he is leading uh, is, is a leader he would like to remain in that name forever he is fearing a day when Allah the most high will, will withdraw that ni'ma from him that is why we find out that if an individual emerges as a leader he will continue to plan and plot to remain in power forever until death so that's why they don't want to uh, get out of the uh, of the power that uh, they are having they will plan this today they will plan that tomorrow in order to continue forever on that uh, on that position so the people of paradise will also be fearing afama nahnu bimayyitin this ni'ma we found ourselves in is it true that we are going to remain perpetually in this ni'ma in this paradise uh afama nahnu bimayyitin are we going to remain here without death we will remain forever in this punishment uh, in this uh, nima of allah if that is the case then that would be the greatest nima from allah the most high that he gives us illa mawtatana alula wa ma nahnu bimu'adhabin bala mutu ba sai dai mutuwan da muka yi da 
domin wannan aya ka wattace suna tare ba za mu mutu ba banda mutuwar da muka yi ba za mu ƙara wani mutuwa ba domin ita ce al'ula mutuwar da aka a duniya aka kai mutun kabari sa'an aka tada shi sai ya dinga cewa to in ko za mu dawoma ba mutuwa sai dai mutuwar da wadda muka yi a duniya illa mutun al'ula wa ma nahnu bi mu'adhibin sa'an nan kuma ba za a yi mana wani azaba babu wani wahala an dawoma ana za a za a ci gaba anan wajen kai lalle lamarin nan fa babban ala babban al'amari ne to kuma haka abin zai kasance ba za a ƙara mutuwa babban da wannan mutuwar da aka yi ko babu wani azaba babu wani wahala babu wani wato ainihin duk wani abin da kake tunani da aka shiga a duniya na kunci na wahala to ya ƙare ba dai dan aljanna ba dan aljanna da in dai riga ya shiga to an gama ba maganar ya tsufa ba maganar ciwo ba maganar a a ana tunanin ka za zai faru duk wani abin da kake tunani na wahala an riga an gama shi now they will be asking are we not going to die are we not going to die for the second time meaning that if they die they do not know what position or what uh, what situation they are going to be but if it is forever then they are certain and they are comfortable illa mutatan alula except our earlier death we are not going to die for the second time wama nahnu bimu'adhibin and it is true that we are not going to be among those to be punished by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they will be asking themselves about uh, all these uh, situations inna hadha lahu alfawzu alazim inde kuwa ba mutuwa inde ko babu wani azaba babu wani tashi hankali za mu ci gaba da rayuwa a irin wannan yanayin da muke ciki a yanzu haka to in ku haka ne inna hadha lahu alfawzu alazim lalle babu ko kwanto babu shaka hadha wannan lahu alfawzu alazim shine wato ainin wato nasara mafi girma ba a taba yin nasara irin wannan ba kuma haka abin yake babu nasara da tafi mutum a ce yau ina cikin aljanna babu duk wani abin da zaka samu a duniya mai karewa ne duk wace wahala ma na duniya tana karewa amma daukaka da girma da matsayi na a ce yau mutum yana aljanna to babu kama da shi ko kama ko kama babu a wannan lafauzul azim daukaka mafi girma nasara mafi girma babu kamar a ce mutum yana cikin aljanna shi zan zaka samu anan duniya idan mutum ya dan abin nan ya dan tara dukiya yana da gada yana da wato wasu ɗan abin nan ya mu fudi haka eh eh can kawai ce ake yi yana da gada yawa ya tara to sai ka je yana takaman cewa ai su sun haye kai wata kalma ita ma ana amfani ne ta hayewa ai su wani ka ai 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 sun haye wata cewa cewa da ya buga kawai sai ya gashi nan ya haye ne shi amma dan kana duniya ka dan kama ko na halal ko na haram ka dai samu wani matsayi ko da cucu ko da cewa cewa ko kuma ma da gaske ne to baka haye ba saboda duk abin da aka ma na nima ga burki yamu abin tambaya sai an tambaye ka annabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah ta'ala ya gaya mashi mutun goma yan aljanna aka ce abba certificate takaddan ban girma ta shiga aljanna a gaya musu labarin to a cikin su akwai abdurrahman bin auf allah ya kara mashi yadda to sai aka ce shine na ƙarshen shiga aljanna a cikin goma to da aka yi tambaya aka ce to yaya ya aka yi shine na ƙarshe sai aka ce saboda akwai a uh, checking point wurare na tambaya saboda dukiyan sa yana dewa abdurrahman bin auf yayi dukiya a makka mai yawan gaske ya zo madina ya jira baya da komai nan ma allah ya tara mai dukiya na gaske to abin da zai sa shi ne na ƙarshe saboda tambaye ta fadan aljanna ne fa amma ba shi takaddar amma tambayoyi na tsallakewa shi yasa shi ne na ƙarshe to su da yake ba mu bane Ah, in ka dan Najeriya aka baka safiya da aljanna ai shi kenan ah to an gama ba to wani irin sharri ne ba za ka yi kita an riga an baka safiya to shi tunaninsa anan shine to ya za a yi shi ne na ƙarshe 
tunda an ce kudinin ne ya dawo mu kenan ya jawo bari bari kawai ya dinga halaka su kawai saka ya dinga kyauta ya dinga bayarwa ya dinga kyauta don su kare ta daga dai aljanna an same ta ai aka ce da ya bayar sai Allah ya mai da ya bayar sai Allah ya mai shi sa shi bayarwa baya jawo talauci abdurrahman dan aufu ya yi kudin da ya samu karbon samu na kudi aka ce idan ana taka dutse a garin madina dutse wannan da ake taka ana wuja idan ya kade dutse ya daga sama cewa zai sa sai an yi warwa su saboda Allah ya mai arziki Allah ya mai arziki to shi sa hayewa sai wanda shiga aljanna idan mutuna cikin aljanna to yayi Allah ya samu hayewa gaba da so if this is the case that as we are inside this uh, paradise we will never die and we will remain there forever we will never be punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then certainly inna hadha la huwa al-fawzul azim certainly this is a great attainment this is indeed great favor from Allah the most high to have given us paradise whereby we will remain forever in his ni'ma without death and without punishment so if you are looking for great favor great success great achievement in the sight of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is for one to earn paradise but in the eyes of uh, those of us living in this world is if one is controlling millions then is he it is he who is successful who achieved who is making it as far as the assessment of the people especially in nigeria are concerned it is when you have money that you are recognized so allah replaces more than what he is at spent so that's how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it allah gives his favor to whom he wishes if allah gives one wealth and also from halal and enable him to spend in halal then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has really honored him that is la fawzul azim Allah has given him paradise through what he did of righteous deed through his wealth through his iman and uh, uh, through his devotion to Allah the most high Limithli hadha falya'mal al'amilun to yan aljanna yadda suke tattaunawa da kuma irin ni'imomi da aka tana dan mai yan aljanna da kuma ba mutuwa ba wani azaba wannan kuma ita ce rabo da daukaka da matsayi mafi girma ga dan adam kuma shine hakikan nin hayewa ba irin wanda ake ciki a yanzu ba to tunda haka ne kuwa sai Allah ta'ala yana zaburar da mu yana kudaita mu kudaita da mu Allah ta'ala ce limis hadha falya'mal al'amilu saboda irin wannan matsayin da muke muku bayani da wadan za su shiga wato ni'iman Allah har abadan to da uh, saboda irin wannan ni'imomin ne muke ta kwadaitar da ku cewa ku yi aiki masu aiki su kara aiki aikin kwarai a kara tsayuwa wajen gina imani ya zaman to ya ginu baya girgiza a gina ai sallah irin wacce take kunshi da tsoron Allah a bada zakka ai aikin haji a uh, a uh, uh, dukkan abu wanda Allah ta'ala ke kwadaitar da mu mu yi na samun lada irin su zuke irin salati ga annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam irin karatun qur'ani a tsayu ai tayi ai ta wato rige wajen yin wannan ayyuka ba kamar yadda yanzu ana rige ne wajen tayar duniya ba daga wani ya yi katutan gida ka dai ka leka ka ce kai ma sai ka irin sa ta dimi mu kan ka rikici ta yi saura shekara daya ka tafi kana ta fama da gida ko wani a wata mota ka ce kai irin wannan mota mun wahe mun hau mutane suna nan suna ta rige a duniya mutun shekaran ka 60 wani rige zaka yi a duniya ai an ga an gama to ko ko 40 kake ba ka sha rabi ba bare kana 60 ko ina ya fari da karfi da kyar kake mikewa amma har yanzu kana nan kana ta rige a kan duniya arshin wayo ne wannan shi sa'ala ta'ala ce ni misl hadha saboda irin wannan bayanin da ake yin bayani ya kamata mutane su yi rige wajen ayyuka na gari gari a samu kullun sahun gaba a samu kullun azmin litinin da alamis a samu kullun kana sadaka kullun zikiri kullun salati ga annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam kullun kyautawa mutane wannan shine rige 
kisa Allah ta'ala ke cewa wa sadiu ila maghfiratin mir rabbikum wa jannatin ardha as-samawati wal ard wa iddal lil muttaqin alladhina yunfiquna fi as-sarra wa ad-darra wal kadhimin al ghayth wal afina an nas wallahu yuhibbu al muhsinin walladhina idha fa'alu fahishatan aw zalamu anfusahum dhakaru Allah fa astaghfiru li dhunubihim wa may yaghfir dhunuba illa Allah wa lam yasiru ala ma fa'alu wa hum ya'lamun wannan rige ne mai yawa daga aljanna da Allah ya alkawari Allah ta'ala ce ku yi gaggawa ku yi rige wajen samu aljanna wadda fadinta kamar sama da kasa fadinta kamar ka san aka ce akwai fadi akwai tsawo to tsawon ya fi fadi ardu ha ba tulu ha ba samawati wal ardu kai kadai za ba kamar sama da kasa gidanka ne ka tsaya kana wani hayani akan wani fili a baitama daga kada fili ya wadda ba za su ba ba yankewa gida an baka duk duniya gidanka ne fili ba shi kai ta yanka wani daga dama ba a lokaci amma sai ka samu ba a rige akan wannan ba a yin ba a wato ba a munafasa akan wannan ka baka ga wani ya kawo abinci na mutum 500 ya ce da su kai ka ce da mutum mutum dubu shine rige da neman gafara da aljanna zaka samu daga ce Allah ya ambaci wasu sufofi da ake so na mutum wa'idda suke ciyarwa dan shi da ciyarwa aka fara saboda Allah yana son ka faranta mu wadansu kuma ciyar wannan suna yi a cikin suna da wadata da ma suna cikin kunci ba sai kai kudi ba ba sai kai kudi mai yawa za ka ciyar abin da kake da shi a ciki kai ma ka mika amma da an ce ciyarwa sai a ta kallon ata ne mu masu kudi a ce ka gansu ai ba sa bayarwa to kai mai ka bayar kana kana dubu goma akalla ka bayar 500 fi sarra wal darra wal kadhimin al ghayth da masu hade fushin su ta zo gida ka samu ba abinci ba cikin azumin nan sai ka hade fushin ka kai ka hambe ka hambe abin da ya faru ya ba ai abinci ba ba an sa sai ka dauka wurin friji ka sha ka hade fushin ka amma wani ya soma a shar ya ka ci ka ce bai azumi ba saboda bai iya hade fushin sa ba tayi tsohon cikin ta ne ya tashi da matsala ki sa ba abinci tayi ta ji asibi tayi wani abu ya faru wanda ya zo kawo gida ya bai samu abin da ke so kawai sai so ma sha ta ga ba ba kanta wal kadhimin al ghayza wal afin an nas ma su yafi mutu Allah yana son masu kyautatawa duk irin wani a cikin dabi'un da ke hada mutun da aljanna mafi girma a cikin aljanna ma kai ba kankanin aljanna manyi manyan aljanna Allah sai da muna ci na Allah says for a similar reward or for a similar attainment and achievement then falyamal alamilun let those who struggle in righteous deed continue to struggle so that they will succeed in attaining a similar paradise just as mentioned in the previous verses meaning if you want <coughs> if you want to enter paradise then you should be seen practicing or following the footsteps of those who have been admitted into paradise uh, doing righteous deed asking allah's forgiveness feeding those who are in need and so on and so forth just allah, as allah the most high <coughs> says and encourages us that we should struggle we should compete wasari'u ila maghfirati mir rabbikum you should struggle and compete to the attainment of forgiveness from your lord allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a paradise the width of which is just like uh, that of heaven and the earth which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepares for those who fear him those who are, who are who are believers and Allah described them who are those believers for whom or in favor of whom Allah the most high prepares this paradise Allah says they are those yunfiquna fi as-sara'i wa dara they are those who feed who assist and uh, take care of the hunger hungry ones fi as-sara'i wa dara in prosperity and adversity if they are extremely rich they feed they give as much as possible if they are poor also they will not say that no we have been exempted from those who are going to assist the needy no do it to the best of your ability if it is just 10 naira you can spend in order to buy maybe 10 naira de bino share it to five people allah knows that that is your ability you have entered among those yunfiquna fi as-sara'i wa dara so don't say that i do not have 
or if there is any appeal fund or a box is going around for sadaqa you start looking at particular people see him you are you are monitoring how much is he going to put in that box is he going to put five thousand or ten thousand naira while well, you, you do not put even one naira but you are there monitoring people say deed you should concern yourself with your own paradise don't concern yourself with another person so the person is also uh, concerning he also he's also uh, particular of himself so you should also uh, be concerned of yourself put even if it is one naira you are able to give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless it and multiply reward for you so if you kuna fi sarai wa dara wal kadhimin al ghaidha they are those who uh, who restrain who restrain their anger if they are they are angry they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they get themselves controlled they do not allow the anger to lead them in committing something that in the end they will regret kadhimin al ghaidha wal afina and in us and there are those who pardon people they forgive those who wrong them those who commit one thing or the other against it against them walafina anin nasi wallahu yuhibbul muslimin certainly allah the most high loves the doers of good he continues that all these are acts of worship that if you are doing them you will be among those to be honored uh, with paradise that's why allah said limithil hadha for attainment of a similar reward attained by these righteous people then people should struggle to walk righteously towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that they will attain that paradise they are those when they, uh, when they commit fahisha, any form of immorality they disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or zalamu anfusam or they wrong themselves by committing sin is tough for zakarullah they will just remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for stuff for rule of him then instantly they will be saying astaghfirullah astaghfirullah oh allah forgive us zakarullah for stuff for rule of him woman yak through the nova in allah allah says none forgive sins except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it means that as you commit sin or mistake you submit yourself to Allah, you ask for His forgiveness, Allah the Most High will forgive you. So these are many other qualities that righteous people do display towards Allah. If you maintain them, Allah the Most High will give you a similar paradise just as He gives to those servants to be mentioned in this verse. For attainment of a similar attainment or achievement like this, then let people struggle let them be righteous let them be committed in serving allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we will also earn that by the grace of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ni shiga mu aljanna idan kuma an shiga aljanna shi ma to ayyukan bisa yawan sa da kyawun sa da karbon sa wajen Allah bisa nan ne za a raba mutane gidajen su kowa iya darjin abin da shi za shi za a saka nya mushi da shi shi sa mu dage da ayyuka na kwarai to anan wannan aya Allah ta'ala yana cewa a zalil khairu wannan ni wobin da muka ambata din nan shin shi yafi alkhairi nuzula masauki na liyafa na jin dadi ko kuwa Allah ta'ala yana so ya wato ainin ya hada da su yayin can an shigartu zakomi wannan ni'mar da muka bayyana muku shi ya fi shi ya fi wato masauki na liyafa na jin dadi ko kuma wata itaciya wadda ake cewa a zako wadda wannan itaciyan a wutan jahon nan biki wanda suke wannan jin dadin su suka fi ko wa'adda za su zo su sadu da wa wata itaciya a cikin wutan jahannama mai suna zakko shartu zakko itaciyar zakko itaciya ce wuna ganin ta kadai azaba ne ganin itaciyan kadai azaba ne mutun yana iya yana iya hararuwa bidan zai gani ya tsorata ya firgita 
wani ganin ba abun bane ma ba mulin sa ba abun shi abun shi ne abun tsoro amma akwai hadawa shi abun abun tsoro ganin sa ba abun tsoro da za ka yanzu zaki zai fito da wannan kofar ya shigo nan musallacin tayi ya zo jin tafsiri ne ka san sai dai sai dai la dan ya mai tafsiri to wa inda za su gudu a musallacin nan Allah ka dai san yawan su saboda ganin ma abun tsoro ne sa'an nan shi karan kasa ban tsoro ne zaki baya da saurarawa amma da wani ba ko zai shigo ba a san shi ba da dan jallabiyan sa fari ko wani tsuwa zai ba ruwanka da shi da amma wannan da ruwanka da shi ko ba ruwanka da shi yana da yana da ruwa da kai to shi sa'a Allah ke ba da wasu irin wato ainihin misali shin wannan da ke cikin nema cikin aljanna shi yafi ko ko inda za su zo suna cin wannan zakko wadda ita ce mummuna da ban tsoro ayyanta ayyan itatuwan karan kansu munin su domin qur'ani zai tamana bayanin zakko saboda irin munin wannan itaciyar wannan ita ce abincin yan wutan jahannam dole sai sun ci sa'an nan za a danga hada musu da wani irin ruwa dole sai sun sha to ina za ka hada da wanda yake gina shan giya giya mai kyau ba irin giyan duniya ba gina shan madara gina shan abin nan zuma zuma kayan shaye shaye ba ana rubin shaye shaye na ndla ba wanda ake tattara budani shaye shaye masu dadi abubuwan shaye eh abubuwan shaye to wallahi ya ci ba shaye shaye ba da abubuwan shaye to da za ka danga sha kana kana cikin nashadi kana cikin natsuwa kana hankalinka ina za ka hada da wanda aka tursa sawa sai ya ci zabku dole shi ta zabku Allah ya raba mu da wannan itaciya eh dukkan wanda muka sani yana musulmi Allah ya raba shi da wannan itaciya Allah ya samu na cikin aljanna Allah the most high is now giving you as someone who is sensible who has senses to compare to compare and contrast is it the paradise that is better or shader to zakum it is for you to choose if you choose paradise then you should walk righteous if you choose shader to zakum then walk otherwise so it is for us now to choose whether to do good to to earn paradise or to do bad to earn hellfire may allah the most high save us shader shader to zakum is indeed very terrible as we are going to hear tomorrow inshallah from the verses that uh, follow may allah the most high protect all of us from hellfire and grant us paradise where his mercy assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh daga cikin tambayoyin dan uwa ke cewa what is the repercussion of anybody that is committing zina with with kafura and is avoiding muslim girls to gaskiya zanaba karamar zanube bace ga wanda yake debo ta ya debo ma kansa fushin Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala da kuma kaba'iri cikin manyan manyan kaba'irai Allah bai son zina Allah ya haramta zina saboda mulin zina Allah ta'ala cewa ya kada ma a kusanci jina zina ba wayi ba kawai kaga giya ce a fikar a shashi kariya ma kar a yishi amma zina Allah ta'ala cewa ya kada ma a kusanci zina wala taqrabu zina kada kusanci wato zina sa'an nan daga cikin matakan da Allah ya dauka na karma a zina ce wa kullil mu'minina yaguddu min amsarihim wa kullil mu'minati yaguddu min amsarihim Allah ta'ala ce ma za su rintsa gannan su kai mutun ya dinga kalle kalle yana kallon mata kar mata ma su dinga kallon maza kallo na sha'awa kaga duk wannan matakai ne na hana zina Allah ya hana shakudai daniya Allah ya umurci mata su sa hijabi duk wannan matsayi ne na hana zina ka ta musallaci da ake zuwa abota ma Allah tabarak wa ta'ala a ciki wadda yake da falala da matsayi babba aka ce mata su daya can baya da annabi sai yake bayani yace mafi munin saho a salla sahun maza na karshe mafi munin sako a mata sahun su na farko wadda shine ke kusa da mene da maza saboda duk ko da yaushi Allah ta'ala baya san a kawo wanda abin da zai kawo kusa da zina ba mayin sa ba to shi sa Allah bai bar mazina ci ba tun a duniya yace ai masu hukunci azzani to azzani fajlidu kullu wahidin minhuma mi'atu jalda da mazinaciya da yake mata san fajawo shi sai aka fara da su 
da mazina ce namiji Allah ta'ala ce ai musu bulala gari a cikin jama'a kar a ji tausayin su wanda bai aure ba kenan wuce bata aure ba amma wanda ya aure a jefe shi har lahira har ya mutu kaga irin tausayi na Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala amma ya ce a jefe magidanci mazina ce ko magidanci ya mazina ce har lahira ku shi sa dan ba masu girma muna zamanin da zina ya zama turuwan dare abin da zai baka takaici kana mota ka sa gilashi ka murdi gilashin ka zuwa amma mace tana zuwa tana cewa ka tsaya ka tsaya ga ga abun yi a cikin gari ba a daji ba a cikin ramadan ko ba to ka ga ana cikin bala'i a wannan kasa ko manya ana kallo ba a ce a komai yanci ne kawai ai dole mu shiga cikin fushin Allah ta to shi sa musulmi ya kiyaye kansa ya kiyaye matansa da ayansa ya tsare duk matakai da ake dauka ai kokari ya saka Allah ya raba mu da zina za da ce da kafura to ai da kafurar din dai ai zina ne ai su ne ma bai kamata ma kai zina da su saboda kana nuna musu musulunci addini ne da yake alfasha da yanzu a ce najeriya a ce duk ba ma zina mu musulmi wannan kadai ya ishi ya ishi arne mai hankali ko kuma wadda ba musulmi mai hankali ya karbi musulunci to amma mun ce ba ai amma kuma gashi nan ne ka samu layi layi hatta matan ma wadansu shigan musulunci suke dan su nuna gana ka wai ya zumbillahi sai ka yi da mace wadda ba musulmi ba ma haramu ne ya yi mai muni dan yanzu ai kana tallata mata addinin musulunci cewa addini ne wadda yadda da irin wannan alfasha da musulma da wuce ba musulma ba haramun ne mutun ya aikata wato ayyuka Allah ya tsare so the question is what is the repercussion of anybody committing zina with a, a non muslim avoiding muslim girls so the answer is that whether a muslim or a non muslim it is still haram Allah the most i made it forbidden and uh, Allah prepares a painful punishment against whoever is committing zina Allah the most i warn against committing zina not only committing it but even approaching going near zina Allah says wala taqrabu zina do not approach do not go near to zina innahu kana fahisha it is indeed an immorality and uh, Uh, bad as a way uh, in addition to this Allah the most high takes so many measures in order to uh, make people stay away from committing zina such as ghadul basr that one should lower his gaze a man should not be looking at uh, women indiscriminately like that a woman should also not be looking at uh, men driving pleasure through that Allah the most high is forbidden mixture ikhtilat between men and women and so many other measures that Allah the most high has taken in order to safeguard people from committing zina but despite this zina has become so cheap this time around so cheap that uh, one can arrange for it at any moment at any given time the women are there they are all out they are looking they are advertising themselves they stay on the street they are if you are driving for example for any reason you happen to match break they will rush especially if they see you look like a muslim they are allergy make i come as so she's advertising herself making herself free whatever you want you should commit so many ways now it has become so easy so one should fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala either a muslim or non muslim allah has forbidden and he prepares painful punishment for a non muslim also what you are telling her is that islam commands and uh, giving making her to understand islam in a bad way that islam agree islam accept that zina should be uh, should be committed well ya billah may allah the most high increase us in iman and uh, protect us don wake cha idan mutum yayi raka a hudu mai makon ya zauna sai ya tashi sannan ya tuna zai dawo ne ko ko zai kulla wata raka kuma me zai yi a dawo zai yi me zai kulla ai ya riga ga musalla dama wannan tashin ya tashi ne cikin kuskure saboda ka dawo zai yi 
idan ya dawo ya zauna idan in da mu ya riga ya tafi ya kafa ya tashi to yana zaunawa sai sallama sallasa abin da ya kara a sallah shine wannan tashin da yi to sai sallama ba'diya sai sai sajida guda biyu bayan yayi sallama idan kuma daman ya yi raka a hudu ne cikakku ba bai riga ya tafi ya ba ya sake miki wa zai karo ta biyar sai ya koma ya zauna ya zauna sai ya tafi sa in ya tafi sai sallama bayan yayi sallama sai kuma ya zo yi wato ainin sajada guda biyu bayan sallama domin yayi kari a sallan sa me ya kara ya kara wannan tashin da baya cikin sallah shi sa kaidan ba'di shine in mutum ya wani kahari wanda baya cikin sallah to sai sajada bayan yayi sallama sajada guda biyu dan expression whereby one is observing salat he pray already he observed four rakat then he stood up for the fifth rakat as as he as he uh, was standing or as he standing there he remembered that that rakat he was about to uh, observe was the fifth rakat so what is he going to do will he continue to perform the fifth rakat or he will come and sit down if he uh, performed the fifth rakah or he come back to sit down what is his or what is the ruling of his salat answer to the question is that as you remember that you are going for the fifth rakah then you should come and sit down because there is no prayer with five rakahs either zuhur asr maghrib and whatever we don't have a prayer that contains five rakahs among the compulsory prayers so you should sit down after you are sitting down you perform your tahiyya and then after termination of your prayer by saying assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah you perform sujood al ba'di that is after the termination of your salat may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us last point nawarais premium quality nawarais mil suka dauki nauyin kawo muku nawarais premium quality dan danon irin na daban ne ina ma abuta dillanci shinkafa da masen dai dai ko sari warai kuna iya samun shinkafar nawarais a nawo complex kusa da next shopping center kado district dake abuja nigeria kuna iya ziyartar ma ofishin mu dake floti mai lamba 870 gidado address way dake edo industrial area and extension fct abuja kazalika kuna iya tuntubar mu kai tsaye a lambobin karta kwana 0743 Nawarais mil suka dauki nauyin kawo muku.